Hello everyone. Okay, welcome back to another video. Honestly, the past week has been a little bit crazy because last week Wade had an emergency and we had to bring him to the vet. He had a hot spot and so he had like a patch here that we needed to shave off and heal. And that same day my mom went to the hospital for like a health scare. And so after she was cleared to go home, Marco and I went to pick her up and she's actually been staying with us for the past week. So I haven't been able to film the full on sit down videos that I wanted to work on last week. Pivoting, I'm going to push those videos back and we're just gonna do a little home update vlog. Right, Wade? Okay. Wade is feeling so much better and he's just been spending lots of time with my mom who's now just downstairs resting. Yeah, just been keeping an eye on her the last few days, but it is now Monday and I'm trying to just play catch up with some work. I feel like I haven't done this in so long, but because the days are getting longer, there's a couple of trips coming up this year and I was able to, you know, update the summer wardrobe a little bit. First, we're gonna go over Miko and this brand is absolutely amazing. The founder messaged me and had me make some pics and I'm excited to share this with you guys. I'm not gonna be trying them on because I'm not feeling so great about myself right now, but you will see this when they are in the proper setting. I'll also do sizing references. I get mediums for the tops and the one pieces and I get large for the bottoms. This is a one piece. I'm just like at a point where I feel the best in one pieces. Like I haven't wanted to throw on a bikini in so long until these upcoming pieces, which I'll share. I have a special project coming up in a few weeks that you guys will see in due time. So these are two sarongs, and this is just great for kind of throwing over the bottom part of your bathing suit. Uh, this one's a little bit trickier to show because it is, you've got like a bandeau situation, and then you can also have it around the neck. Then these are the bottoms, which are a lot tinier than I thought they would be keep the sarong on type of thing for me. This one is probably my favorite, but look at how beautiful this is. So this is the front, and then this is the back. Bottoms are more high-waisted, which I feel better about, and they're a little bit cheeky, but I like that the tummy is kind of a little bit more under control for this one. I love the way the white suit looks with the sarong. Like, it's probably my favorite one from that batch. And I also did an order at Shopbop and I got these pants from Stodd. And it's just kind of like a mesh material, but it's very stretchy. So this is also perfect for the beach or a resort, somewhere tropical. I'm actually also doing a girls trip with like my college best friends. They're nurses, so they're very ready for just like a weekend of relaxation. I have some pieces from Dish that I haven't even opened yet. And Dish is probably my favorite when it comes to summer attire. Like I was wearing it all last year when I went to the Philippines, Korea. So this one is pretty sheer, but I feel like this would be perfect. Just like wearing this and then this one open. So it's perfect for, you know, you're going to the pool and then say you wanna to go to lunch, just like throw this on. These are the pants. Again, dish sets are my favorite and they're on high rotation during the summer because I feel like I dress pretty conservatively in terms of warm weather. We'll have all of these linked down below as well. And then the last one from dish is just like a striped Pant. Again, perfect for throwing over the bathing suit and then just like a linen shirt or even just the bathing suit top. That is it for dish. Next, I have a batch of things from Naked. This is perfect for traveling in. I have a lot of like darker colored cashmeres. I've always been worried about white cashmere, but had the opportunity to make some selects. So this is it. This cardigan. Perfect for like a long haul flight. My mom's gonna love this. She's probably gonna steal this from me. It's like all the way down to the bottom. Then we also have this cute hoodie. Cute little throw on 
piece. Whenever I'm traveling, I always get so hot going through the airport and getting into my seat. It's just such a struggle. And then obviously like the air sometimes isn't always on. Uh, so I always try and make sure that I'm traveling with like a shirt or a tank top underneath my sweatshirts because I typically have to take it off during a flight. Otherwise I am just like a sweaty mess. But look at how cute this little cashmere tank top is. These pants that are just a wide leg. I'll probably try this on because I just feel like it's such a cute vibe. And then what's this one? I got two pants. And then this one matches this cute little cardigan. Sorry, the sun is going in and out. But just like a cute little cardigan. I feel like it's just gonna be so cute for, you know, all the trips coming up. Okay, now I need to like clean this up. My mom is watching Bridgerton right now, but this one is also new and this one is from CB2. We replaced the one that we had, Marco's parents um, had a dining room that was perfect for the other one we had and we picked one that was a little bit lower and this is also much longer. So got this and all of my <laughs> shoes are inside. So there's four cabinets. The ones on the ends also have drawers. Hi, Wadey. Marco and I had Pilates today, and now I am working on getting this light mounted onto my mirror. This is Glamcore, and I have like their light stand. It's a really good light. Wanted one for the mirror because I was looking at mirrors that had built in lights, and I don't like them. I didn't like the way they looked, so I figured let's just put some lights on the one that I have because it's massive anyway. So we have some Gorilla tape, and let's see if this works. Success. What I like about this one is that it's still a mirror finish. So it doesn't seem like it takes away from the mirror and looks clean enough to me. And then let's just show you what it looks like with the lights on. I feel like I'm in a studio with these lights. Holy moly. These lights are literally blinding me, but hopefully the lines aren't popping up because I was having that issue with another clip. Really wanted to have kind of fitting room feel. I feel like it just helps make me look a little bit more alive. Even just now, I've, I'm running on like four hours of sleep. I dig the lights. I really should be using lights more often. Uh, now there's no excuse. I've literally pasted these onto my mirror and hopefully it stays that way, but I feel good about it. It's up to 30 pounds and I'm pretty sure these panels are not that. I will link it down below, but I think this just makes it nicer for getting ready at night so that it's not just an overhead light. Before I sign off, I wanted to mention that if you were looking to do your color analysis, someone had discovered that ChatGPT can actually do it. So I posted a video on that on my reels. I'll have it linked down below as well. All the information is there, including a link to the original user who made a tutorial on how to do it. So all credits go to her, um, but I will have it linked down below as well as her video if you want to check it out. That is pretty much it for this week's vlog. I'm sorry that it's a bit on the shorter side and not much is happening, but uh, the past week has really just been super hectic. I've just been so all over the place the past week with 
Wade and my mom and I've just had to cancel everything last week in order to make sure that they were both okay and luckily now everything is kind of just chilling out. I'm gonna bring my mom home on Wednesday so she's gonna be here for a few more days. I love having her here, Wade loves having her here and at the end of the day just needed to make sure that she was alright after she got out of the hospital. In case anyone has older parents or parents that have health issues, I'm sure you understand. And so I just want to say thank you to everyone who sent their prayers and well wishes for my mom over the past few days. And thank you all so much for being super understanding. Had to shuffle some things around with my filming schedule, but I will be filming those videos once I get the chance. So thank you all so much again for your patience, your love, your understanding, and your support. It means the world to me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!